What's up guys? Dr. Brett Ross with the Ground Overhead PT. Coming at you again with your daily body armor. Guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for daily videos and content for you to get back in the gym and get back to training, okay? So today, we're talking about the hip hinge. Okay, so deadlifting, uh, kettlebell swings, uh, glute bridges, anything that revolves hinging from the hips, okay? So a lot of our athletes, uh, well, a lot of athletes in general love the deadlift, right? It doesn't take a ton of mobility, and you can really test max strength and uh, see the weights go up quickly. So the problem is a lot of our athletes feel the actual work coming from the low back, kind of those low back spinal erectors versus the glutes and hamstrings, hips, where we primarily want to feel that exercise. So it's important to start to work on learning the hip hinge so that you turn that deadlift into more of a pushing motion instead of a pull. Okay, so what we're going to start with, we're going to do a banded, PVC hip hinge, okay? So, PVC pipe, all right? Now, when we're doing the hip hinge, we're gonna take grip like you would on the bar. We're going to get inside the band, and the band is gonna be just around our hips where we would normally hinge, okay? So I'm gonna get some good torque on the band, grab the bar where I'd normally grab the uh, barbell. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take a bow by sending my hips back. And as soon as I get down to where the bar passes my knees, I'm gonna squat it down. Okay, I'm gonna push the floor away until the bar gets above my knees, and then push my hips through the band to finish the exercise, okay? So it's a bow, sending the hips back until the bar gets below my knees. Then I'm gonna sit into that squat. Then initiate by pushing the floor away with my legs until I get above my knees, and then pull my hips through the band. All right, guys, so what we're doing is we're carp, carp, uh, compartmentalizing the movement where we're taking a, a, a simple deadlift and breaking it into a squat with an RDL and then an RDL into a squat. So we break the deadlift into two movements, emphasizing that hip hinge with the hips. This way you start to feel it in your hamstrings and glutes versus the low back, guys. Remember, keeping the ribs down so we can actually use our posterior muscle So give that a shot, guys. Um, and start light with the weights of the dunk, with the uh, deadlift and just try to work on form and technique. Make sure you're feeling it where you should. Then progress the weights so you can get stronger in the movement. Okay, guys? So give it a shot and tune back in tomorrow for another video on how you can bulletproof your body and feel your best, guys. See you tomorrow.